We all had a sueñito. And when it came to dreams, we had to keep scraping by. Maybe this neighborhood's changing forever. Maybe tonight is our last night together, however. I just want to see the whole world through her eyes. They're talking about kicking out all the dreamers. It's time to make some noise. We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. This is the moment when you do better than me. Because you can see a future that I can. But we go, we wrap up people and we go. So lovely to talk to you all. Thank you. Cheers, um, Lee. How are you? Gregory, I'll start with you. What is In the Heights about at its heart? In the Heights, you know, um, it's about Washington Heights. And we're talking specifically about somewhere in New York where there's a lot of sense of community and unity and love and family. And the movie's just a big celebration of life. But all these things are universal. You know, they you don't have to be from Washington Heights to make a connection with the film, which makes it so beautiful. I completely agree. And Jimmy and Olga, Suenito is such a big theme in this film and everyone's chasing their dreams and it's mostly the dreams of youth. You know, what am I going to do with my life? What, how does Claudia and Kevin's dreams differ to that? Well, um, let's see. Claudia came to this country and um, she worked very, very hard like, like Jimmy's character. And um, her dream was to just with patience and faith to make it through the day sometimes, make it through the week to, um, to be the, the heart of this community and to, um, and to inspire them that, that, that if she did it, they can do it. And that with patience and faith, you can, you can, you know, it's like a prayer. You can, you can do it. You can, you can reach your sueñito, your dreams. And what about Kevin, Jimmy? Lee, it's the dreams that every immigrant wave has when they come to a different place that they want to try to do better that they want better for their offsprings that they want to feel the sense of community but at the same time they want to be able to advance their community at the same time so all of these things we feel are universal on so many levels but very specific to this particular community and we're trying to be of our authentic as possible in the presentation of it and knowing that the delivery system is this you know the musical and joy and bring bring you these stories of these of the positivity of this particular community so that audience members can walk away with a little bit of joy and something that we really need right now oh yes Oh, yes, definitely. Um, Gregory, what little details did you bring to your character to make it yours? I think it was just bits and pieces of myself and like, you know, memories that I have, because there are so many similarities between Sonny and I, and I just being able to pull from that growing up in similar neighborhoods and and there are aspects that are different between us that as the actor, you know, I had to reach for, which is, you know, always great to have, but there were things that we had in common. And I, I can't pinpoint a specific memory that I have, but there's definitely stuff there that I was able to pull from. And Olga, I know that this role is very special to you and important to you for your, like throughout your whole career, you've been with it since the beginning, haven't you really? What is it about Claudia that you love so much? I feel like I can learn from her. She has such compassion and empathy and she's uh, worked so hard and yet, you know, maybe doing menial jobs, but, but yet she maintains her dignity and her humanity. And that's something that she wants to teach. Uh, for example, Nina played by Leslie Grace. There's just something very endearing about her. You know, I brought a little bit of, of my grandmothers, my mothers, my friends' mothers, my aunts, and, and a little bit of myself to, to this character to make it, to make her just this all loving, also the, the mother we always wanted to be or have. It's an honor to have played her and to, and to bring her to the, to the cinema. And Jimmy, I know you've been a big fan of the musical as well. Did it take much convincing to get you on board? Oh, uh, convincing? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I had to do some convincing. But uh, no, I, I was, I, I marveled to watch Olga do it on Broadway and uh, and, and to see even the off-Broadway uh, iteration of, of it. Uh, and it was wonderful and Realizing that Lin Manuel Miranda, this new wave of talent with Kiara Alegria Hudes, was just you know 
a pride that I felt watching watching it. And uh, and so when I read this version of the film that had changed considerably from what the what what the Broadway show was, but the bones of it still there, more current, I felt like you know I I was able to contribute in some kind of way and uh, happy, very joyful to be able to do that. And doesn't he have a nice voice? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got to pay, pay her again now. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I need to wrap it up there, unfortunately, guys. Thank oh, you Lee. so much for your time. It was wonderful. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. And I love the movie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We hope Australia sees it in the movie theaters. Bless oh, you. Yes. Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. cheers.